What are you doing out here? I want to see if I can drive it out of its spot. This is a out of the snow drift? I really want to see if I can just drive it out. All right. No, there's no way. There's no way. She's not getting through that. You're going to have to back up first. I'm getting in the back of my truck where it's safe. All right, whenever you're ready. Nope, reverse. Oh no, she's going for it. <laughs> Her lights are on. <laughs> you want to see if my truck will do it? Yeah, obviously. All right, I'll try not to hit your car. Please don't hit my car. Yeah, I think he wins. Oh, he definitely wins. Busted right through the bank at the end. I just made a mess. <laughs> that was badass. Oh my God. So two feet of snow, plus one more small, like six inch storm. Now I've got all this snow piled up here using this thing. You can see down here, we got the basement all cleaned out. Uh, the center footing is cleaned off perfect and all of the sills are cleaned off perfect. We used a combination of shoveling, the snow blower and the skid steer coming in through the opening to get all the snow out of here. But as I promised you guys in the last video, I told you Mrs. Phyllis Front was going to drive this. So climb in there. I'll give you a quick rundown of how it works. All right, so the key, you click that on and then start it, obviously, like a car. And then you're gonna pull this thing over you. You can do that now or you can do that later. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one controls your motion. So forward, backwards, left, right, and it all, it's very intuitive. Okay. And this one's your bucket. I just started. Turn here. the key on, start it. And then when you actually, when you wanna actually start driving, there's a green button up here that says push to operate. Once you push that, the joysticks are active. Okay. There's also a gas pedal down here by your foot. Okay. If you rev that up, it'll make you go a little bit faster and give you a little bit more power. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Please don't kill me. No guarantees. Probably a big mistake giving her this much power at her hands. <laughs> I should have known better than the motor drive that thing. So can we get one? I love one. <laughs> it's easier to drive than a car, isn't it? Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's fun. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> not very great. No, not at all. Can I push the three nope, just flip the key off. Yeah, <laughs> it is quite the ride. <laughs> yeah, that's like I said, it's like a roller coaster yeah. when it gets going. That's awesome. So I didn't know how to end the last vlog because um, I really had nothing to end it with. But uh, I figured it out, pretty sure. They just delivered the crane and the first section of the house today. 
So like I said, this is the first of two sections. And there's actually two pieces on this trailer. You can see the gap in the middle. So it's both sections of the bottom floor. So here's the other side. And so like right here, like that sliding glass door in this whole section would be the back of the house facing the field. And this section here with the shutters and the door is going to be facing that way. But once they get everything put together, which is going to happen tomorrow, believe it or not, then we're going to do a tour of the house and get to see it all put together. Granted, it's not going to be finished. It's a long way from being finished. There's a lot of electrical, plumbing, drains, I mean, everything, drywall. they got to finish off everything before they drop the keys in our hands before we can move in, obviously. So, really exciting things coming up. I would say uh, we're going to go full speed ahead tomorrow. I'm going to try to film everything I can, so keep an eye out for that video. Thank you for watching My Modified Life, Episode 4. Let me know if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.